Hey, Justin James, World Long Drive Champion here. Gonna talk about one of my favorite training aids today. This is a pressure board. I'm gonna show you all the ways that I use it. It's gonna help you get better, hit it longer, and hit it straighter. All right, so the pressure board, and it doesn't matter which product that you use, you can even make your own, but it's, it's one of the best tools I've ever used in helping a golfer feel, and, and with my feels, what our pressure and weight transfer and shift should feel like in the golf swing. You gotta remember, the golf swing, you're not 50-50 and your head's still the whole time. It's more of a unilateral movement than people think. You know, we're not just here and turn, turn. You may have been told that. But when you load the trail side, get into the lead side and push away from the lead side, when we're talking about producing a swing with power. So how do we feel that? The pressure board is a good way to begin to feel that. So one thing you'll get with the pressure board is audible feedback. We're on a soft surface here so you won't feel that. But ideally what this should look like in the golf swing is we start on the lead side, we push to the trail side as we're taking the club away. All right, now as we approach the top of the swing, what needs to happen before we start the downswing is this board needs to go back this way and our weight needs to get into our lead side. Click on the lead side. Now we can use our lead side as a gas pedal and in reality through impact, then we go kind of back to the trail side. Trail side, lead side, impact back to trail side and then walk down the target line. So how do we start to get a feel for this? Well, number one, what I like to do first is use an impact bag. All right, so I'll use an impact bag and a dowel. All right, and all I'm gonna do with a split grip, I'm gonna start on my lead side and go to the trail side. Then before this comes down, I'm gonna go lead and then strike the impact bag. All right, really, really simple. But most people are going to go like that. Poor golf is played off the back foot because most of you have been told you turn to the top and then you rotate and you never get off your trail side. You have to get to the lead side to produce power. So we go trail side, lead side, then we can push that hip back from the lead side. Notice my hips open and then my shoulder going more vertical. That's the position that we want at impact. We start to get a feel for that with the impact bag. Then we can just take the dowel, which is kind of a baseball grip, lead side, trail, lead, fire. Okay, and you can start to get a feel for that upper and lower body separation. Lead side, trail. Now what happens? We go lead. That's where the upper and lower separate. And then through to impact. Lead, trail, lead, there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, all right, next we could go with a tennis ball. We grab a driver. And you can even, now you'll make fun of me for this, but it's a great drill nonetheless. And it's one that I use with students all the time, is I use this tennis ball. Why? It gets golf out of your head. I'm telling you, when, when you work with people and they have a golf ball and they have a golf club, they start to worry about result, old patterns. Golf's a technical sport. The more you, if you're trying to change a pattern, okay, especially like if you're going from steep to shallow, which one of the name of my courses, in that course, I have you hit a lot of tennis balls, swing a lot of dowels, get unique objects in your hand. So we're doing the same thing. We start on the lead side, we go trail. I want that foot to come down first, lead, and then we're gonna fire. Now here's a point, okay? We don't just fall into the lead side on the pressure board. What you wanna do is you actually push laterally a little bit from this trail side. We load the trail side, we push into the lead side. The little push that goes there, boom to snap that down on the lead side. And that's when our downswing is gonna begin. So we go lead, we go one, two, three. You can start with an iron. All right, eventually what we can do is we can work into actually striking a golf ball. All right, but still just little half swings here. We don't need to try to swing 150 miles an hour here and break our neck. All right, ball positions, you know, relatively forward, trail side, lead side, and we're just trying to get that sensation of loading the inside of the trail heel, pushing in the lead side to click this board down, and then pushing the lead hip back from the ball of the lead foot. One, two, three. 
we're loading the lead side and when we've loaded the lead side now we can use it in our swing and we can push away from the golf ball to create some speed with that golf club okay the shift the pressure board is really going to help you do that now last thing i'll point out and this is another way we can use this that's fantastic is with some of our medicine ball training I want to use the same sequencing in medicine ball exercises as I would in my golf swing. So I want to start on the lead side. I want to go to the trail side, get into the lead side, and then launch that medicine ball. Now I want to push away from the target that I'm throwing the ball toward. So in the golf swing, I'm going to go lead side, trail side, lead side, and then my ground forces, the forces are pushing me basically back and away from the golf ball and the target. I want to do the same thing with this med ball. If I get this board down on the trail, then down on the lead early, and then push away, now I'm using similar and appropriate sequencing as I would in a golf swing. Lead side, trail side, lead side, fire. Get really comfortable with that trail side, lead side loading patterns and pushing from the trail into the lead. Pressure board's a simple thing that can help you start to feel some of that. Start with simplest, just the impact bag, just some movement up it in complexity until you start to feel that in your golf swing. You're going to pick up some speed, hit it longer and straighter.